And I want to teach you guys some workouts that you guys could do at home. They're basic and some of the workouts will require some equipment, but some of the workouts do not require any equipment. And you guys could turn all those workouts you guys learned from this video and turn them into a hit workout or a high intensity workout. You guys can start working out, getting in better shape in your life and you know what? Start getting that big booty or start getting those big muscles that y'all want. But before we start this video, let's watch this B-roll. Ankle weights are a perfect way to make your workouts more effective. The ankle weights that I'm using are 5 pounds each, which adds 10 more pounds to your workout, making your workout more challenging. Some workouts that you could do are high knees, jumping squats, or pull-ups. The first and easy workout are push-ups. This pull-up bar you actually see me using doing push-ups with is not required. It will be required to do pull-ups. That's why I have that equipment. One of the three major areas in your body that push-ups work are your triceps, your chest, and also your back. There are three types of basic push-ups, which are your classic push-ups, close grip push-ups, and also your wide grip push-ups. You could also use a resistance tube in order to make your push-ups way more harder, which adds resistance, which makes your push-ups way more harder to do. This workout is one of my favorite goddamn workouts, but it's extremely hard. To even do five, it's hard. The more you train, the more strength you start getting and the easier it starts getting. But I first recommend you guys to start doing pull-ups and start advancing into chin-ups and then wide pull-ups. These are one of the muscles that your body engages when you're doing the pull-up. One will be your biceps, two will be your back, three your lats, but majority of the muscles will be worked on your back. This is my number one used equipment that I currently have right now. And these are far way more cheaper than dumbbells. I'm not saying dumbbells are bad. It's just they're way more expensive than resistance tubes. But if you want to look for an alternative, resistance tubes are the must. Resistance tubes usually comes with like three type of weights. The 20 pound, 30 pound, and the 40 pound. One of the most basic workouts you could do with the resistance tubes are bicep curls. In order to make these workouts really highly effective, you really want to make sure you're engaging your muscles as you're going up. So when you're nearly reaching your shoulders you really want to squeeze your bicep if you just start swinging your hands up and down without actually contracting and squeezing your bicep you're literally not doing anything to benefit your muscles you do not always have to be just doing your bicep curls with two hands you could actually focus either your left or your right hand for instance, if you use 80 pounds with both of your hands, it does not compare versus using 80 pounds with just using one hand. Not only we're going to work out our biceps, but we're also going to work out on our triceps. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the strongest or the biggest looking guy. I know some of y'all are like Superman, you guys can lift so much stuff, but I want you guys to make sure you're using the correct resistance in order for you to do the workout properly. I don't know, but this is my opinion. It feels like if I'm engaging my tricep much better when I do one at a time. Per se, if I do 20 reps, I'd rather do 10 reps on my left and then 10 reps with my right rather than doing them both with my two hands but don't get me wrong i actually do two hands but i don't know it feels more effective when i just use one hand at a time now the next workout will be the shoulder press and we're gonna work on our shoulders we have done several workouts so far but the first muscle group we worked on was the bicep the second one was the tricep the third one will be the shoulders but you really want to work on your shoulders because it makes you look like a warrior yeah that sounds way much better in my head so instead of you purchasing another equipment for the chest, I have an alternative way you guys could work on your chest. It's kind of weird, but cool at the same time, I guess, and creative. I have no idea, but just watch. If you guys just saw that, I actually used a resistance tube. I wrapped it around the doorknob, and then from right there, you could actually use the door to do the chest flies. If you don't mind the door moving and wiggling all the entire time while you're working out, this is a perfect workout you guys could do at home. Some of these workouts are weird, but I'd rather do a weird way to do a workout than actually put an excuse saying like, Damn, the gym is closed. I can't work out. Do you want to know what's the best cardio workout you could do? And you got that right. Jump roping. Jump roping seems really easy, right? Wrong. Try jump roping. That's extremely tiring. Even boxers use jump roping as a primary workout. Why do you think boxers are so extremely in shape? The first couple times you guys try to jump rope, you guys are going to mess up a lot. It will take practice for you to constantly be able to jump rope without stopping or without hitting your feet. Just keep practicing. 
If you have never done burpees, oh my god, this is a total body workout that's gonna fucking kill you. I will be showing you as a beginner, an intermediate, and advanced. Starting from the beginner, you're gonna go down, but you're not gonna do a push up. You're just gonna be in that stance, and you're gonna get back up, and you're going to keep repeating that same movement until you get used to it. And now the intermediate, you could do it in two ways. The first one is you wanna first start with the jump, then you wanna go down into a push up stance, get back up, and do a jump, and keep doing that. The second way is for those that could do a lot of push ups, you could substitute the jumping for push ups. Now we're gonna do advanced burpees. So you really need to practice this one. So what you wanna do is jump and do high knees. Once you're able to do it properly, start doing that advanced burpee. And now that I taught you guys all these workouts, now we're gonna do a high intensity workout. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds of high knees. Let's get started. And now we're gonna do 10 burpees. I accidentally did nine, so yeah, do 10. All right, so now we're gonna do 10 push-ups. Get your resistant tube. Now we're gonna do 15 bicep curls. Grab your jump rope and now we're gonna jump rope for 30 seconds. In today's video, I showed you guys a lot of workouts you could do at home. Don't need a gym. You could do all those workouts at home. Sucks, but your boy gotta go. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to see the latest content. You want to know what I'm doing. If you also want to know when I'm going to be uploading again, I will be announcing there. Have a great day. Adios. Dale.